It's Diablo 2 and I'm the, the gaming, uh, gaming J. Welcome to Let's Diablo 2. Um, when last we met, we had just finished slaughtering Mephisto. We're about to go into hell. And as I've done before, I decided to grind a little uh, off stream. The grinding is not super interesting. Very repetitive. And I would quickly run out of things to say. Um, this time I didn't really level up all that much because I didn't grind nearly as much as last time. We had several weeks between parts. But we have some new loot and I wanted to show you guys. First of all, I think this is the amulet. So here are my rings and amulets that give me a higher chance of getting magical items. I'll explain how I'm grinding Mephisto right now and we'll quickly do it because it takes no time at all. He's 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 a teddy bear now. We can take him out at, at will. But um, maybe two or three kills after uh, I killed him the first time when I was off stream, I landed this Eye of El Etlich Amulet. It gives plus one to all your skills. It is insane. So basically, every single skill that I have got a boost. Um, it is actually an insane ability. Um, so yeah, that, that was a cool find. Um, I think shortly after that, let's see, what has changed? Um, the boots are really recent. I guess shortly after that, I found this weapon and this has also been a game changer. So I actually found a, a few weapons. Um, by the way, here's my shadow fang. I found another shadow fang. Uh, it turns out the shadow fang doesn't do a crazy amount of damage. It's more for the mana and the, the life stolen that it's good. But I like having one because it adds cold damage. But um, I got these other cool weapons. So I found this 5% mana and life stolen. That's kind of cool. And it does a fair amount of damage. We slate it in. It does more than the Shadow Fang. So there's 58 to 135. However, I never really got a chance to use that because I got these maces. Um, first, I got this one, which had a chance of open wounds. And open wounds apparently isn't that great. It kind of just works like poison. So I was reading online, and eh, eh, not really worth it. But then I got this thing, and this has a 33% chance of crushing blow. So if you guys remember, I was talking about crushing blow as a skill I had read about last time, and I think it takes off like 20% of an enemy's current health. So a one in three chance of basically just bam, knocking them down by a third. And you think that is good, but it doesn't have lifesteal or anything like that. And it, it's it's good. I've tried it on Mephisto. It's pretty good. But time after time, I keep coming back to this weapon. 180 poison over 4 seconds. 20% to poison resist. Um, to 95% poison resist in total. And you cannot be frozen. So basically, no more freezing, no more poisoning. Um, and a very fast attack speed. And it does a crazy amount of damage. Look, it does 207 to 244. It's minimum is higher. It's, it's almost double the, the maximum of this. It's a crazy weapon. I like Crushing Blow because it initially takes tons of health off. But when enemies have very little health left, Crushing Blow doesn't do anything. So I think this weapon is the best. Um, we got slightly new armor. So this is kind of cool. Gives me some uh, lightning resistance. This has a higher uh, defense capacity. Found a new helmet along the way. I forget what my old one even was. Uh, but other than that, oh, I, I swapped off these magic finding rings and put on lifesteal. So I think right now I have 12 lifesteal from these, 4 from this, so that's 16% lifesteal. Uh, so 16% lifesteal base, and this one has 25% lifesteal. Pretty crazy. Actually, you know, one thing I have not tried is this combo. That could be interesting. Crushing blow and poison. I don't know, though. I wouldn't have the cold damage. And I do need to get some mana stolen. Now, nah, I'm going to keep Shadow Fang. Um, and I think that's about it. Uh, I don't think I have anything. No, nothing in the box right now. So anyway, today we're going to be going into hell itself. But before we do, I guess I should buy a few potions. Uh, honestly, it, it's it's hilarious how much difficulty we had with uh, Mephisto the first time and how much of a, a pussycat he has become. He's a gentle, a gentle giant. Um, and I'll show you just how easy it is to kill him. Um, and we just run past all these guys these days. I don't even bother fighting his minions. They're just not worth it. 
Um, and even, remember how hard these guys were? Yeah, I don't even bother with them. They're beneath me now. Woo! Okay, so now his minions aren't gonna follow me, because they'll just be stuck. And now we can just go to town on them. And notice my health is regenerating at a really good rate. Even... I'm not even using a potion. I'll use it if he gets me down quite low. But poison is not really affecting me all that much. I can't be frozen. I'll pop one potion here. Might have to use two to kill him in total. But uh, here's my strategy. So I'm going to pop a town portal just to have it. When he gets really low, I'm going to pop back into town and put all my magic finding items back on. So let's see. Okay, he's low. So now what I do... I don't know if this makes a difference or not. But there we go. So now we have 26%, 26 and 16%. So we have like a 66% chance of finding better items. So now we can go back in. We can just finish him off. And he's done. Um, and we found a cudgel. Probably not worth anything. Yeah, it kind of looks like junk. So anyway, we'll just go back to town. Nothing else is really worth bringing with me. Um, and I have to remember to put all my good stuff back on. Blink, blink, blink. All right. Um, and, oh, we should identify the thing that we just got. Yes. Let's see. What did we get? Um, you know what? A couple levels ago, this would have been amazing, but these days, that's a crappy oh. stick. There, you can have it. Anyway, um, I was holding these weapons to show you guys. I don't think we're ever going to use this Doom Sword. I mean, a crystal sword, as awesome as it is, is just honestly not enough by itself to just steal mana and life. Um, so, yeah. All right. Ugh. I hate selling an item that good. I don't know if we need two of these, but these things don't take up a ton of space, so why don't I just throw them in my box as backup weapons? Um, actually, I'm going to sell this Open Wounds one. I think if you're a paladin, it gives you a paladin sacrifice bonus. I don't know what that is, but um, I more just wanted to keep this to show you guys. But we'll get rid of open wounds. The one that I don't want to get rid of is the um, crushing blow. Because I feel like that actually could have utility into the end game. Because if I get to like a boss who's wrecking me, I could put this on, hit him a few times, then go to town. And he could probably lose like 50% of his health in those few hits. So the crushing blow weapon... I'm going to keep, and I'm going to keep these extra magic items because it's probably good if I get to another boss that I can grind out. Um, all right, before we go to hell, check our stash here. I have been upgrading gems. So I have so many of these crappy little ones. Okay, you know what? Let's just, okay, I'm not going to find any more chipped rubies, I don't think. So I'll just do this. I'm going to sell this one here. I'm going to sell this one, too, so the the, the, mo the least valuable items. We'll just sell them real quick. Anyway, I'm really loving the new build. I'm loving the fact that I poison guys. I can't be poisoned. I can't be frozen. I'm an absolute beast. The ironic thing is that I have absolutely no fire resistance these days. Like, zero. Um, but, you know, killing his henchmen, even, is actually pretty trivial these days. Um, okay, I saved specifically my skill points. I didn't actually equip them because I wanted to wait till you guys were here. I did uh, assign my trait points. But I think what I've decided is the next time I level, I'm going to hold those five trait points in reserve because when I got this weapon, this weapon is amazing. It needed 45 dexterity and I had 44. And luckily, I hadn't fully assigned all my trait points yet, and I was able to put dexterity up to 46. But it made me realize, hold on to your trait points until you need to use them. Um, at least at this level. Like, you should always have, like, five in reserve, just in case. So, you know, adding five points isn't going to make a big difference. Having them in reserve probably helps. So, we're going to play smart. Um, but anyway, here's what I was thinking. I'm going to throw one skill into resistance. 
because then I'll get two levels of resistance because of my amulet, which is pretty good. So why don't we go ahead and do that? And then we can decide. I mean, I would love whirlwind, but I feel like I got to get this and this and that. So I need three points. That's pretty far off. The other option is increases all current skills for you and your party. Um, it gives me 25 seconds or stuns all and damages all nearby enemies. I kind of like stunning and damaging. I think that's the way I'll go. Yeah, because I if I'm trying to run through a level, I could like shout and it would stun everyone. I could just run away from them. Okay. It's I, I am a little sad I can't get whirlwind, but I'm going a dual wielding build. And from what I've read, if you do want to go whirlwind, there's a whole different build to go. So at some point we can reset our abilities. We have a free reset that we haven't used yet. Um so this stuns people for 1.4 seconds. It's pretty cool. But yeah, so at some point you can reset your abilities. Um, so maybe we will do that at some point. But anyway, um, on to... Yeah, how do we really get there? Oh, there we go. Into hell itself. I did as you told me, Tyrael. I found the temple of the Zakarum. In the deepest recesses of the temple, I found a dark gathering. My companion, the Wanderer, Dalrasha, and a great evil who could only be the Lord of Hatred himself, Mephisto. I heard a voice then, like a thousand needles in my own. This little guy's brave. My brothers, at long last we stand reunited. The infernal gate has been prepared, and the time of our final victory is at hand. Let the way to hell be opened. And the evil that was once vanquished shall rise anew. Wrapped in the guise of man, shall he walk amongst the innocent, and terror shall consume they that dwell upon the earth. You know, it'd be cool as if in hell we ran into the Doom guy. <laughs> that would be a game. I bet he has awesome equipment. The righteous shall fall before the wicked, and all creation shall tremble before the burning standards of hell. It's like melting, screaming faces for that portal. It's pretty cool. Them was not meant for mortal eyes. The gate stands ready. You know, whatever this Wanderer guy's intention of, like, containing Diablo, he's utterly failed. Like, he just turned into Diablo again. Talk about fail. Arise, Diablo. Lord of Terror. Now that's a demon. You are the harbinger of our return, Diablo. Send forth your terror into hell. I wonder if anyone has made a Doom mod of Diablo. Diadoom. That, I would play that, man. That's probably awesome. You go through, like, Diablo 2, but as the Doom guy. <laughs> oh, and you could... It'd be so cool if you could actually get items, if they mixed the Doom gameplay with the item mechanics of Diablo. Oh my god, that'd be... That's a game!
Baby, you got a stew. Alright. Wait, where am I? I thought I went to hell. It is good to see you again, hero. Mephisto's defeat is a great victory for the light. I knew that you would eventually find your way here. The Pandemonium Fortress is the last bastion of Heaven's power before the gates of the Burning Hells. This place has been hallowed by the blood of thousands of champions of the light, many of whom were mortal like yourself. Now, the final battle against the prime evils draws near, and you must face it alone. I have been forbidden to aid you directly, save for a few bits of wisdom. For this is the hour of mortal man's triumph. Your triumph. Thanks for nothing, I guess. Who was trapped within this forsaken realm long ago. He was called Iswal by mortal men. And in ages past, he was my most trusted lieutenant. Yet against my wishes, he led an ill-fated assault upon the fiery Hellforge itself. Despite his valor and strength, Iswal was captured by the prime evils and twisted by their perverse powers. They forced him to betray his own kind and give up Heaven's most guarded secrets. He became a Blah blah, you want me to kill him? I can I can read between the lines. Look for him. Got a nice fireplace here. So I'm in hell, but I'm in a fortress of heaven. Stay a while and listen. Alright. I buy it, I guess. Hail to you, champion. What you got? Anything cool? Nothing I would waste my time on, I don't think. Hail to you, champion. What you got, man? Repair my stuff. Oh my god, a crown. <laughs> Walk around like a bloody king. Oh, I still want like a full plate. I only have chain. I can only imagine how good. Oh, if you could find unique plate, I imagine it, it just kicks the ass of anything that I've got right now. Alright. Show me your world boss so I can grind him to bits. Grind him down. Doom Knight. Alright, who wants some? Alright, you guys ain't so tough. All right, I'm getting a feel for hell and so far. Oh, that guy! That guy ran away from me and then exploded. Awesome. All right, anyway, we're getting a feel for uh, how hard the hell guys are, and so far... They feel reasonable. They feel... about as intimidating... as ghosts when you got a proton pack. And so all I'll say is busting makes me feel good. Look at this corpulent red. Whatever the hell this thing is, that's a thing of nightmares. I like to imagine a movie where like some of these demons come through like a portal, like Hellraiser or something. You know, like this barbarian summons them. They come through the portal and they're like, you have summoned these demons. And I just start wailing on them, they're like, oh god! His weapons are so OP and you just slaughter them right then and there. That would be a movie right there. If this guy summons you, as a demon, you best run. Literally, I've killed the god of hate, or not tipping, or whatever Mephisto was. God of being stupid. <laughs> Ain't no god of hate now, Mephisto. Now you're the god of my boot. You're the god of sucking it. There we go. Super healing potion. Didn't even know that was a thing. Super healing potion. I wish it told me what it did. All I know is like the better the healing potion, the better it is. But I thought greater healing potions were the were the top of the food chain. Are there like mega or uber healing potions, or is super as high as you go? Guess I don't even need healing potions. I don't know, I might as well just grab them. I wonder if you can bring companions to hell. I miss my lightning guys, they were good. They never lasted all that long, but they were good dudes. Okay, hold on, where's my crazy shout? Injures and stuns. Oh, I just killed that guy! <laughs> he was coming up to kill me. I screamed so loud he died. Yes! Let's do it! 
Yeah, I get stunned and dead. <laughs> oh, that shout is awesome. I like it. Oh, man. Oh, my God, they're just dropping green items. Now, that is something. Gotta buy some more scrolls, too, I think. All right, I've, you know what I've noticed is the green items actually kind of suck. What you want is these unique items. Like, this shield is trash. Slows target by 20. Eh. Eh. I've also realized I'm not a fan of knockback because I want enemies to stay close to me so I can kill them. When they get knocked back, it's like they're running away. It's like I'm making them run away. That is counterproductive to how I want to be playing the game. All right, come on. Yes, or minions. Yeah, get stunned. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you do. Imagine shouting so loud you could scare creatures from hell. Like so, so much that they stopped attacking. They're like, oh God. I guess, or what would, I guess a creature would say, oh devil, not oh god. Eats and spits corpses. Oh devil. What would be the equivalent of Jesus Christ in, uh, in hell? I think in Constantine, the devil's son was like Amon or something. Some kind of demon kid. He was like a teen. He was like this weird, naked, uh, undernourished creature in hell. And he was trying to possess Rachel Wise? Was that the actress? Forget already. That's a good movie, actually. I, I really like, uh, Anna Reeves in that, in that one. Classic. Oh, man. I'm loving the mix of, I have poison, lightning, and cold. And it's like a really good combo. You know, one element I've barely had on any of my weapons is fire. In fact, I don't think I've had fire on any weapon. But poison, cold, and lightning. That's where it's at, man. That is where it's at. All right. I'm going to start trying to run through this level a bit more and explore here. All right, you guys want to tango? We big enough? Big enough crew? Get everybody in here. All right, everybody. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, it's so awesome. Yes. Who wants um, anybody else? Come on, man. That creature's like, do I dare? <laughs> oh, the poison is so good because you hit him, you knock him back. They're like all stunned and stuff, and then they just die a few seconds later of a broken heart. It's terrific. I fear not hell. I am the... Forget about running into the Doom Guy. I am the Doom Guy's ancestor, I think. Or maybe I'm Duke Nukem's ancestor. Duke Nukem, Doom Guy, and my guy. All going into hell together. Now that's a party. That's the kind of party that demons run from. Come get some. Let's do it. I don't know what it means that these guys eat and spit corpses, so I'm just gonna try and kill them quickly. So I never have to find out. Alright, guys. Good, good. You guys want some too? I guess these guys are worth the experience. It's so hard to say these days. Okay. I do like the out the sort of terrain that we're dealing with. This is much better than the jungles. I hated those jungles. The problem with the jungles is it's literally a maze. I like a big open field for my overworlds. Which is what this is. Those big creatures that we're killing that shoot bodies or whatever, they kind of look like Cthulhu spawns. Like they could be related to Cthulhu or something.
Yeah, get poisoned. You're just gonna die. <laughs> I knew it! I can tell. Oh, here we go. Here's some stairs. Plains of despair. Oh, there's a... kind of demon. Oh, what are these guys? Venom Lord. Try and poison me, dude. Find out what happens. I'm 95% immune to poisons. Don't get much higher than that. I, I don't even know what that, that... That was like an undead thing that homed or something. A flesh piece. Drains mana. Not on my watch, you don't. <clears throat> I've come a long way from running from ghosts in uh, Loot Galen. Anyone else want some? Super heal. What are those weird flesh pieces? They're disgusting. You know what they are? It's perverse. That's what they are. Let's do it! I fear nothing! Oh god, I'm gonna die! Oh no! <laughs> got a little- got a little too brave there! A little too brave, okay. You know what, we found our limit. We found our limits, okay. I intentionally ran into a really bad position there. It was stupid, it was cocky. It was foolish. I gotta be a little more cautious. I can do that. Oh, it's because there's a gold guy in there, that's why. Oof. No thanks, boys. Look at him, Gloomweaver. Hope you dropped some good stuff, Gloomweaver. You dropped garbage. Absolutely nothing good came of that. All right, so we want to fight these guys in small numbers. You know what? It's truly because I have absolutely no fire. Oh, no, actually, I do have 21% these days. Oh, 75 is as high as you can go, I think. Unless, I think my poison thing bumps me above that. Yeah, 20% to maximum poison resist. If we could get something that knocked fire resistance up to, like, 60%, I think we'd be in good shape. Because all our other resists are basically maxed out. At least as high as you can legally go. Unless we find some other magic item that bumps us above the limit somehow. I truly don't know what's out there. So every every magical item is a gift. We'll just find something we didn't even know was possible. So I think the fire from those pit lords is actually pretty formidable. So I'll just have to, uh, watch out for that. If there's too many pit lords all together, we gotta spread them out, basically. Um, okay, Plains of Despair. I'm supposed to look for this fizzy old guy. Ugh. Those flesh creatures are weird. What if those are, like, the tortured souls of humans, you know? Like, that's what a human gets turned into. They, like, human centipede you into that creature in hell. Ugh. Okay, Human Centipede is a disturbing movie, and I know what happens in it, but I've never actually watched it because it's so... Body horror freaks me out. I, I hate the idea of it. Even in, um... What was it? Uh... Slumdog Millionaire. That scene where they blind the kid? That effing disturbed me. Sorry to swear. Sorry to mock swear, guys, but... The idea that you're a kid, and then you get drugged and put to sleep, and when you wake up, you're blind, like your eyes just never work again? That is scary. I Like, I'm getting freaked out just talking about it. Body stuff? Nuh-uh. Not for me. So, Human Centipede? Yeah. I know what happens. I've watched the South Park episode that mocks it. I don't need to watch the whole thing. There's actually a, a Kevin Smith movie called Tusk. Uh, it's not one of his normal movies. It's his attempt at making a horror movie. Um, has Justin Long in it. And it's a weird premise. Basically, a guy gets kidnapped, and a guy operates on him and turns him into a walrus. Which sounds like a joke, but it is also very disturbing, I find, because, again, body horror, not... 
for me, so... Um... Yeah, anyway. I freaked myself out <laughs> thinking that the humans got turned into, uh... Turned into something. Okay, one more body horror thing. In Dune, uh, the new Dune they made on the Harkonnen planet, uh, there's, uh, a weird fleshy spider creature. Um, and it wasn't in the books, so people have, like, speculated in the movie, like, what that creature actually is. And it's established that the Harkonnens have some guy's wife hostage. And one weird theory online is, like, that's her. Like, they used future technology to, like, twist and morph her body into, like, an inhuman creature. And, like, she just lives her life that way. And, yeah, that, that also freaks me out, so... I can handle all sorts of scary ghosts and all sorts of stuff in horror movies. That stuff doesn't freak me out. You start messing with people's bodies and autonomy and stuff, and... No thank you. Not for me. I don't know why it freaks me out so much, but it's disturbing stuff. Oh god. Yeah, the guys in hell are actually formidable. I will, I will grant you. I thought this- this level was gonna be a pushover the same way that, uh... The swamp was. But, uh, nope. These guys ain't messing around, man. I did not... ...even stun those guys. Hey, where's this dude that we're looking for? I'm really glad that we got good equipment down here, cause like, as tough as this is... This could be a lot tougher if we didn't level up properly. And truthfully, I don't know what level I'm supposed to be here. I don't know if I'm over-leveled or under-leveled or... I mean, I definitely don't feel under-leveled. I'm probably over-leveled, if anything. Slightly. But I don't know by how much. Oh, I really want some fire resistance. Kill the thing that spawns the little weird flesh babies. Can't believe my sword actually needs to be repaired. That's crazy. I guess I'm so used to just going in and grinding Mephisto and killing him pretty quickly. It's funny, those bosses, like Duriel and Andriel, like every boss that we've encountered, I've gone and grinded. And it's always the exact same. First three times, four times, they're tough to kill. But by the third or fourth time, they usually drop some amazing item. And you're like, oh, damn. And then all of a sudden, they're a lot easier to kill. And then they drop a couple more items. And then all of a sudden, you've leveled. And not only are the items helping you, but it's like they become a joke. And at that point, you throw on some music and... Uh, you know, an hour later and you've you've pounded them out like ten times, you have crazy loot at that point. That's how you do in this game. I guess let's go back to town and repair our sword. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Repair my stuff. Do you sell scrolls? Wow, look at this. Oh man, they're selling blue items now that have lifesteal. Well, I guess I always sold something with lifesteal, yeah. Why would you ever buy this crap? I guess if you died and you needed something just to get back in the game and, like, get the stuff that you dropped. The barrel-heavy belt of the mammoth. Hmm. Anyway, um, do you have scrolls and stuff? Yes, you do. Good. Um, guess we'll buy some of these, and I will sell you this junk. Start throwing gems in here, let's get them out of the way. Um, do you have anything cool? Hey, there's a crystal sword. There's a green wand. Oh yeah, I saw a mask too. I think Mephisto dropped one at one point. 
All right, back to the action. Back to the plains of despair. No, oh, what is? We didn't finish exploring down here. Dead end. <laughs> well done. Corner. Oh, is that Izio? Hey, it can't be frozen, buddy. <laughs> oh, this is a perfect time for crushing blow. Oh, God. Okay. Oh. Okay, here, let's... Let's try it instead of this. Oh, look, did you see his health just drop? Dropped by a huge chunk. But I'm not stealing any mana. Okay, we gotta... throw this back on. Right, now my mana's climbing. You know what, that one crushing blow did take off like a big chunk, but... The problem is it's just not sustainable. If that weapon had life and mana steal, I would use it instead of Dark Fang, for sure. Even if it had less. Lower percentage. I would still take it. What if the quest is like, make peace with Izziel? <laughs> Avoid his attacks and convince him to turn back to the good. Didn't even bother to read it, so I just slaughter him instead. Sorry. Nah, he's just gonna die from poison now. <laughs> Didn't even have to land the final blow, buddy. He dropped a blade. Kieran was a fool to have trusted me. You see, it was I who told Diablo and his brothers about the Soul Stones and how to corrupt them. It was I who helped the Prime Evils mastermind their own exile to your world. The plan we set in motion so long ago cannot be stopped by any mortal agency. Hell itself is poised to spill forth into your world like a tidal wave. Why would you tell me your master plan, dude? Made your fail. You just totally admitted that you were a bad guy. Even fallen angels deserve freedom. But... Not angels that bad, surely, right? Oh, look, there's a... What the heck? That tower of people is attacking me. Trapped souls. Huh. Okay, let's just finish exploring this zone. I'm sure the quest is like, go back and talk to... Material or whatever. Get off my back. Venom Lords. Pests of the underworlds, as I call them. Absolutes. You know another good uh, movie about uh, like hell and heaven and stuff is What Dreams May Come with uh, Robin Williams. I don't know if everyone agrees. That's one where it might have a terrible IMDb rating or something, but um, I saw that one in high school and I quite liked it. Robin Williams is always a treat and he has to go to hell and stuff to like... Yeah, there's a whole complex. I, I won't spoil anything, but it's a good movie. Worth watching. All about the afterlife. Um. Wait, who am I supposed to talk to? See Tyrael for reward. Oh. Duh. Thank you, Hero, for putting Iswell's tortured spirit to rest. May the light protect you and the powers of heaven shine upon your path. But if what you tell me is true, then I fear that we have been played for fools all along. Iswal helped Diablo and his brothers trick me into using the Soul Stones against them. Now the Stones' powers are corrupted. With the combined powers of the Soul Stones under their control, the Prime Evils will be able to turn the mortal world into a permanent outpost of hell. That doesn't sound good. Um, I'm liking this shout. I think we're gonna go... Why can't I select this? Oh, I have two skills. Um, wait, why can't I select this? That's odd. Wait, why can't I select this? 
What's happening? I have skill choices. Um. Okay. I mean, I guess we'll just hold on to our skills till we level then. Weird. Why can't I select these things? That is so odd. Huh. Okay. The problem with all these shouts is that I can't just use them all at once. I gotta, like, switch between them. So, like, if you could use more than two buttons, maybe there's a way and I'm just too stupid to figure it out, but... Um, it seems like you can have one and another. Like, you have two things that you can do, you know? So... Okay, well, now I'm directionless. I don't know what to do. Okay, let's look at the map again. Let's see, so... There's a corner over there we didn't clear out. Oh, and there's stairs up there, okay. So, that's the next area. The stairs that are over this way. Just keep going deeper into hell. What are we doing again? We're trying to find Diablo or something. Something like that. Hit boards. I think if if my shout could get to stunning them for like three or four seconds, that would be a big deal. Because taking them out of the mix is how you stay alive. On that shrine. Yeah. Keep him stunned with the shouts. Okay, we're gonna level very soon. Hopefully we can actually upgrade our shout skill. I can't believe how few skulls we've seen this whole game. We've seen emeralds and like everything else. Very few uh, actual skulls, which are the things that you can slot into your weapons to give you life steal. Although honestly, I'm I misremembered this game. I thought that you had to like slot things in the whole way around through the game and. Honestly, gems and slots and all that stuff play a minimal amount in the... Min, minimal role in the game. Maybe in the late game, maybe after you finish the game and playing on nightmare mode and stuff and you're getting, like, amazing weapons, maybe they have slots. But there's there's been no weapon of value that I have personally seen that has had a slot. You know, like, if these weapons had slots, I totally would have put something in them. Definitely would have. But I guess they're too good as is. They don't, they're not allowed to have slots too or something. I don't know. I don't know what the thought process was for it. Oh, what's over there? Nothing. The nice thing about the Barbarian, I said this before, is you have leap. So you can just, uh, oh, there's only three checkpoints. You can just leap to things that you need to. Oh, River of Flame. All right, let's do it. Hello, anyone down here? Or pit demons. Nice try. Ghosts. Hell ghosts. Are these ghosts of demons? That would be badass ghosts. Gotta figure even a demon's gonna produce a ghost when he dies. Oops, accidentally cast that twice. Ah, oh, crap. Why? Why get- Oh, it has slots, I guess, but why? Oh, we have a blade. I forgot to, uh, identify that. But yeah, why give me that? Why waste everyone's time with a piece of junk like that? These. Eh, might as well take greater heals. Sort of useful. 
I kind of remember being in hell. I think we find a hell forge and we can craft an item. Ooh, no longer fear fire. That's exactly what I needed. We can craft an item on it and or it's like where you, I mean, we're going to smash one of the soul stones. Spoilers. We're going to kill Mephisto for good. Um, no. Oh. Super heal, sapphire. Okay. Um, yeah, but I think you can craft some kind of item. These mages. Viper drinker the mad. That's what poison doesn't work on me, buddy. The abyss knight. Greater heal, super heal. I take that greater mana and use it right now. Oh, that looks like the Hellforge in there, maybe. Or maybe it's nothing. It's just a random building in hell. See? I love how fast my guy moves. Oh, yeah, by the way, I think my boots. Um, yeah, 30% faster run walk speed. My guy is all about speed. Play the Sonic the Hedgehog song while he runs around. Uh, I really wish I had fire resistance because it's just night and day. Like now that I, my guy has a bit of fire immunity fighting those pit lords, they can't, they literally can't hurt me. This makes me realize I need more fire resistance, any more resistance in my life period. Maybe it's worth throwing a point into the Barbarian's natural resistances. Resistance I? Resistances. I'll think about it. Oh, these stupid mana draining creatures are the worst. Super mana. Give me that. Full of identity. Udar. Stun demon. Stop. Getting my man up. There you bastard. I'm gonna take a greater mana just in case I encounter more of those guys. I actually do drain my mana a bit. Okay, over here. Yeah, I'm no longer immune to fire. Mental note. Means kill the pit lords. Okay, and nothing over there. Okay, it's just a big loop. The other thing that's good about my guy moving so fast is that I can literally outrun enemies if I don't want to fight them. I run so fast that they, like, lose interest. They're like, I see him! The mortal who is in hell! The one my dark lord is, uh... Oh, he got away. He hopped over a fence. I lost him. Like, they're not even trying to catch me. I think I just leveled. Okay. Skill time, baby. All right, now I can upgrade this. Weird I couldn't before. <clears throat> so I currently have 21%. And it's only 7% bonus. On the other hand, my war cries. Or what about frenzy? Should I do frenzy? It'd be cool to have more attack speed. But no, I think we want our stun to do more. So if we do one. Oh, I can't do another one? Why do I have three skills and I can't put it into this? Oh, required level 33. Oh, didn't know that was the thing. Hmm. Okay, I thought once you unlocked a skill, you could just dump as much as you want into it. I understand now. Um. Okay, so in that case... Uh, we don't need to move faster. It would be nice, but it's a pure luxury. Defense rating is fine. I might actually throw something into elemental resistance. And then frenzy. 
All right. Ah, it just has such a minimal effect. It's only fire. Forget it. Frenzy. Frenzy. All right, so we move faster. We attack faster. Whatever, it's fine. It'll all work out. Yes, we're a little vulnerable to fire, but I don't think 7% is going to make or break us. I'm very skeptical that that item that we just saw over there was a superior saber. Like, look at this. Superior, yeah. <laughs> a dark brown, half broken, non magical saber is superior. Superior to what, man? I guess it's all relative, but. Hate to tell the guy who forged that, it's a hunk of junk. Sorry, sir, what you made is considered garbage. So I guess we gotta go all the way over here. Damn, I was hoping to like dump so much into my shout that it's like it just wrecked guys, but I guess they make you dole it out over time. You can't just go too crazy. Death approaches. What does that mean? Oh, there's a golden demon. I guess he's unstunnable. Oh, he's dead. Oops. Hey, get out of here. Um, as I said, we would do. We're not going to assign these five skill points. We're going to leave them because, for instance, like this requires 51 dexterity. Oh, it's not identified. What is it? Life and mana stolen, knocked back. Yeah, it's kind of interesting, but... Um, I'm not actually going to use it, obviously. I have better things. But we might find something that does need some dexterity, and then we'll be glad that we have that flexibility. Um, and if we do another level or two, we still haven't found anything, then I'll start throwing some points into stuff, but... I guess if I get to a point where I'm, like, dying and I, like, need... Uh, traits, then I'll obviously assign some traits, but until then, like, why? Yeah, demon killing machine, man. Slaughter, slaughter. You know, I have a vision of being in an underground fortress of some kind. In Diablo 2, like in my previous plays years and years ago, um, where it's sort of like the Arcane Sanctuary, where it's a bunch of... Uh, oh, waypoint. Oh, and there's a guy over there. Okay, hold on, before we go that way. Um, so it's sort of like a level like the Arcane Sanctuary, where it's a bunch of bridges and stairs and stuff, but it's kind of underground in like, uh, you know, a jungle fortress or something like that. And I don't know if that doesn't exist in that game, this game, or it's coming up. Maybe it was just, um, oh, that's something even different. Okay, let's go talk to this guy. Um, after we kill these guys. Maybe that level does exist and we're just not there yet, or maybe it literally doesn't and I just imagined it. I'm, I'll be very curious to find out. I think if it doesn't exist, I probably was just misremembering the Arcane Sanctuary as looking totally different than it actually did. Which is funny, you know, it's, it's weird that memories work that way. Like, you just forget over time what things were like, and your memories can become very twisted. But yeah, just a bunch of bridges. It was sort of like a Goonies level, the train. Uh, it wasn't actually, like, Goonies-themed or anything, but <laughs> that'd be awesome if it was. But it just sort of looked uh, Goonies-esque, because it was an underground, like, uh, again, fortress slash dungeon-y thing. Halt! Before venturing into Diablo's lair, Go to the Hellforge with Mephisto's Soul Stone. Place the stone on the Hellforge and use the Hellforge hammer. All right. I don't know who you are, random dude, but I will destroy Mephisto's Soul Stone. We are going to be done in no time here. The time has come for you to destroy Mephisto's Soul Stone. Take the stone to the Hellforge. Place it upon the fort. Okay, yeah. Strike it with the hammer. If it doesn't break, move your hand back behind your head. With the hammer in hand, then move it forward at a rapid rate, landing on the soul stone. This is what we call smashing. If it doesn't break, 
Try again. No need to be so specific, dude. All right. Uh, River of Flame? Yep. I think the uh, forge or whatever was just literally right over here. So let's just go do that real quick. Let's just go kill Diablo's brother real quick, sees. Oh, look at this guy. Doom hit. Spectral aura. Okay, so my stun thing doesn't work on bosses, obviously. Ooh. Hellforge hammer. Let's just do this. There we go. Five to twenty fire damage. This thing sucks. <laughs> it's like all the items in game that are part of the quest are just trash. I was thinking about. Remember that um, last last video. We had to, like, break something to get into Mephisto's lair, and we had to use a special weapon. Once we did, the weapon was gone. I was thinking, what if you wanted that weapon? First of all, the weapon wasn't that good, but what if you did want it? You would have to play the game up till that point, then quit and restart a new campaign, and then you could keep that weapon. Uh, because then when you get to that point in the game later, you'd get a second version of it. But I'm like, that's a lot of work for a weapon that's not very good. If it was an amazing weapon, sure. But if it's not good... It's not good? I don't know, man. Oh, I actually have to. I see. Uh, oh, God. Okay, so I have to do this. I'll do this, too. Did I miss the first time? Oh, God. What's happening? Are those all the souls he killed? Oh, look. He dropped a bunch of uh, gems. Oh, and the hammer's gone. All right. Good deal, I guess. Flawless ruby. Perfect. It'd be nice to use these on something, but I guess I'll just continue to collect for no reason. Throw these in there, too. Impossible. Oh, jeez, it's full. Oh, yeah, because I got another one. I should probably just sell this. I mean, I should probably sell this, too, but... Crushing blow. How can you get rid of that? Quest complete. All right, Diablo. I don't know what skill to have on hand for him. All right, let's see. Improves life and stamina, reduces enemy effectiveness for 14 seconds. Oh, that could that's a percentage damage damage decrease and stuff. I I could use that. I could use that. Any other good shouts? Defense. Targets damage. Targets attack. Okay. Um, let's just go kill Diablo then. I, I guess. To, are we at the end of the game? Wait, what does he say? Proceed, hero, into terror's lair. Know that Diablo's innermost sanctum is hidden by five seals. Only by opening each of these. I thought you went to heaven at some point and slaughtered angels, but maybe I'm just remembering the knights from Diablo 1. Man, my guy runs so fast once he's, uh... Once he's been frenzied up. It's pretty funny. Okay, hold on. We're not at Diablo yet. Give me my good war cry. Done you, you mana sucking ghost. Come get me, ghosty. What we got over here? Health. Anyone else want a party? No? You guys had enough or you're thirsty for more? Where does a demon go when he dies? Is there like demon hell? It's like meta hell. Maybe the demon goes to heaven and it's like its own version of hell. It's like, no, everybody loves each other here. This is garbage. 
Give me pain and sacrifice. A very interesting sort of maze. Oh god, get out of here with your mana sucking. You guys suck. The good thing about my, uh, my sword is it not only gives me all these abilities and stuff, it normally, uh, you know, it, it normally reduces my light radius. But when you're in hell, who cares, you know? Light radius, light schmedius. Very bright down here with all the fire and stuff. Okay. Explored. I also... This thing does 37 to 49 damage. It doesn't seem like a lot, but I wonder if it gets boosted by all my stats. It seems like it does more damage to guys. Inner Sanctum. Find Diablo in his sanctuary. Man! I did not realize we were this close to the end. I thought there was a whole other act. We were gonna have to... Go places and do things. Ugh. We're getting wrecked here. Oh god. Okay. Jump. 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 Oh my god. What? I was trying to jump. My guy would not jump. Alright, well. You know, if you have to die, I guess dying as you get to Diablo is respectable. I think I was getting stunned or something there. I've never- I never had that happen before. Oh, and I don't even have a belt, so I can't even carry more potions. It's okay. Um, I think I can make it to my corpse. I think I killed enough guys along the way that there's virtually no one left to stop me. And... oh, no, we want to be over this way. I guess I will summon a town portal near here in case I die again, then I can just come on back with my strategy. Right, town portal. Where's my body? Oh god, is it that mess? Maybe I can lure them away. Oh god, nope. I'm about to die again. Oh, I got it! I got my stuff! Okay, let's heal a little and then... Put these guys down. There we go. I mean, I guess when you fight the entire undead army all at once... It's a little hard. Who was hurting me so much? Was it just the combined might of everyone? Oh, these Oblivion Knights, I think. Yeah, they're actually like... They got a little tough. Alright. You've had your fun. Uh, I'll just trace this. Get out of my inventory. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm gonna waste this one. I want the good potions. I also vaguely remember playing an ice level in Diablo 2. I don't know if that's off the table too. Like, are we just at the end of the game? I mean, I guess as I keep saying, we'll find out. Oh god. Fire is no joke. Okay, there we go. Gut eater. Eat this. Looking at a demon butt as I kill him. This big old demon butt was staring at me. Super heal. Super heal. Okay, what? It looks like you can kind of go in here. I guess it's just a wall, eh? Venom Lords. Greater heal. 
Oh god, here comes the jerk brigade. Okay, you guys can stop. Oh no, they're draining all my mana. Can't steal it fast enough. The ghosts. Oh, did I level up? Oh no, I still have skill points I haven't assigned. I was like, hey, I leveled! Forgetting that I just didn't assign all my skill points last time. I just want some. This guy's running away. He's like, I have no quarrel with you, barbarian. I was just following orders. My guy didn't care. He's like, you know who else followed orders? Nazis. Come here, you little bastard. You're going down. Okay, there's five different... Oh, here we go. Five seals. I'm guessing that means kill five big groups of dudes. Jeez. Oh god. Okay, hold on. Town portal in case we need it. Wait. The mana stealing guys really ruin your fun. Cause like you want to use all your cool abilities that you got. And then some jerk comes along and steals all your mana. We are Oblivion Knight. An other guy. Refreshing Shrine. What else we got? Who else wants some? Um... Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> thank God that jump got me out of there. Oh, thank God. That jump is super useful. One of the most useful abilities in the game, I think. Because if you get surrounded and you ain't got it, you're just, you're just done for, you know? But with that jump, dreams come true. I can't believe these guys are still not consistently dropping gold items. What am I... What am I paying you people for? I think I opened a seal. Oh god, and it might have summoned a bunch of junk. Okay. Um. Because my man is just gonna go anyway, I'm gonna switch to my double attack here. Bastards. You know what these guys? They don't suck mana, they suck fun. And how am I supposed to have fun killing you if I can't even use my cool abilities? Uh, they make fighting so slow and tedious. Who thought this was a good idea for an enemy? I know. The thing people like about Diablo 2 is using cool abilities. So we'll make an enemy that sucks your abilities and makes your fights very slow and tiring and takes all the fun out of life. They're the fun police. I don't even know if I should take these things. They're probably trash. Um. Yep. Not worth it. Ooh, not worth it. Looked at that one and went, ooh. No thanks. I can't carry anymore. Okay, two seals open. Do a bunch of guys actually come out when you open a seal, or was that did, did that just happen to be the case? I forgot about these guys. Sorry guys. You're waiting there like chumps for me to come kill you. 
Forgot my sacred barbarian duty to kill everything. Kill everything that moves. Like I exploded. <laughs> I don't know why some guys explode, but I find it kind of hilarious when they do. Let's go. Let's dance. Let's dance monkeys. Alright. Are you not entertained, Diablo? Is this not what you want to see? You know, I don't know why Diablo isn't trying to court me to his side. I feel like... Oh. Where did these guys come from? Ugh. I feel like if you saw... Why are they so... F oh! Frick! Why are they so fast? Oh god, I think there's a guy who's enchanting them. His name is Red Bull and he gives them wings. Bad joke because the demons already have wings. I don't know, but they were fast. A green war sword. Not gonna be as good as you might be thinking. Seen them from Mephisto. In fact, I might have seen this one. Death's touch, yeah. See, the thing with the green ones is you have to have all three parts, and, like, it's been impossible. The problem is your inventory and your stash are not big enough. If you had a massive stash, I would collect the green things and put them together, and I think sometimes the sets have decent abilities, but again, they're just outclassed by these. I don't know what Blizzard was thinking, but these green sets, they're a cool idea. They don't come nearly fast enough, first of all, and you don't have nearly a big enough inventory to, like, make it reasonable, so... Long story short, it was just poor planning that makes them useless. Why are these guys so fast? Venom Lord. I am overburdened. Maybe they're frenzied too. Maybe we're both getting off as we fight. <laughs> that sounds wrong. <laughs> the warrior really loves to fight, or the barbarian does. It really excites him, if you know what I mean. <laughs> My mind's in the gutter, but uh, this picture of the barbarian like slaughtering demons, like with a full erection the whole time. Oh god! <laughs> you don't come for the G-rated jokes. You come for the filth. And you stay for God only knows why. I don't know why you guys are sticking around, but I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Not enough mana. Oh, you stupid bastard. Kill all my mana. Get over here, Oblivion Knight. I'll send you to Oblivion. Forever. Oh, more guys spawn. Okay, so that, that does spawn some dudes. There's a dude spawning thing. But luckily... Oh, this guy... Is uh, extra strong, eh? How about he's extra dead now? Greater heal. Now, the only thing is, if we try and grind Diablo, do we have to do that every time? Just in case he's tough. Oh, yeah. I think we would have to. No, oh, hold on. What's the one we wanted? Oh, God. Okay, hold on. It was this. Oh. That one stings a bit. You know, when we fought Diablo in Diablo 1... He actually, once you got him alone, he wasn't nearly as tough. I think the things that are hard to do in Diablo 1 and 2 here are deal with large crowds. Um, and sudden spikes in damage are always tricky, of course. Um, but yeah, I gotta say, Diablo seems like he's gonna go down like a clown in Clown Town. 
Uh, I don't... I don't know what the fuss is about him. I can kill him with virtually no problem. I'm sure Tyrael could have done it. But I guess I got to. I gotta be the hero. It's kinda too late to crushing blow him because we've already done so much damage. Um, we'll do a portal as soon as we can. Oh god. Okay, let's just wait till we heal up. Hey Diablo, when I slaughtered your brother, he cried just like you're going to. Yeah, keep trying to attack me. Oh god. Don't do that attack though. That attack is highly ineffective against barbarians, don't you know? You shouldn't do that attack again. I wish I had fire resistance, I'd be crushing this guy. Slaughtering Diablo for fun. Fun. Thinks he's a badass, but he sucks. Sucks. Oh god. Get out of here with that junk. Oh! He locked my, uh... Oh, that's crazy. I didn't know you could do that. That's actually a good ability. It'd be cool if more, uh, bosses did something like that. Because, I mean, the town portal tactic is really good when you're fighting a boss. Just leave a portal open in case you gotta, like, get out of town. Okay. Here's my idea. We want to maximize loot we're gonna get off this guy, so we're gonna do the Mephisto strategy here. And who would heal me, do you think? This guy? What do you need? Yeah. I have some of those. Pair my stuff. Alright, D. You're going d -d 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 down. Oh, we had a uh, blade. A unique blade. It sucks. You kidding me? That's what I get from killing Diablo. Suffering would be too brief for you, Diablo. I mean, we might as well take this other stuff. Game ends in 70 seconds? Can I go and talk to Kane at least? I did it. Bye. Praise be to the light. You have accomplished the impossible. Diablo and Mephisto have been banished back into the- That kind of game totally forgets about Bale. I mean, they did release a whole expansion about him, but... You've done well, hero. Um... There's nothing else to do? 42 seconds and it's it? Okay, this- I have to say, this final level feels a bit like they phoned it in. Like, the other levels? What is that guy doing? The other levels have, like, six different quests. What's happening there? Why did- why does this one only have three? Why is it, like, so short? I'm... Disappointed, kind of. I was expecting more. There's three! Three of nine checkpoints! Why is it such a short level? Did they run out of development time or something? I don't know. All right, game over. We killed Diablo and all we got was a stupid, crappy blade. I heard later that he was defeated. And that the Soul Stone were destroyed in Hellforge. All except one. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
failed, dear Hill. I couldn't do as you asked. I couldn't enter that gate. Forgive me, Tyrion. Forgive me. <laughs> Marius, give me the stone and all is forgiven. Give it to me, Marius. Pretty sure it's not Tyrael. Take it. Take it, take it. I'm glad this is finally over, Tyrael. Look what the stone has done to me. <laughs> you haven't failed, old man. You've done exactly as you were meant to do. However, I am not the Archangel Tyriel. Bell. No. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> you have done well, Marius. Now I think you shall have your reward. Yeah. I guess they were planning a sequel or a expansion all along. Burning the place to the ground. Whoa, ha, 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 ha. It's weird that in Diablo, Lord of Destruction, Lord of Destruction is not Diablo. Diablo's dead. <laughs> You're fighting against one of his brothers. The, the namesake of the game is gone. Jay Barian will henceforth be known as Sir Jay Barian. So that's how you get the title Sir. You have to defeat Diablo. Sir Elton John and all those others. I had no idea. Um, okay. Uh... So what happens if we select this guy again? Oh, now we can go on nightmare difficulty. Um, I'm just curious here. Oops. No greeting. So you like restart the game, obviously, on a harder difficulty. Um, I am a cop. There is a place of great. Blah blah. Raid. Okay. So this sucks. Uh oh. Identify this stuff or sell it. It's cool that uh, even the gold items are getting mana and life stolen, but they just still can't compare to these other items we've got. So, I mean, we're not going to play the game again, obviously. Um, and I have been working on a mage just sort of my off time so here's the thing i i don't know if you guys are enjoying this we can play the expansion oh man these guys actually take a lot of hits now um we can play the expansion and i have a character sort of set up to be expansion ready um but the thing is should we play as a barbarian or as my mage so my mage I've already passed the first act. Uh, I forget what else I've done with her, to be totally honest. It's, I haven't played her in weeks. Um, but I, I've leveled her up a bit. So we can skip some of the early acts and go and see what Act 5 is all about. Oh, jeez. Guys are no joke. Okay, on, on Nightmare, it is tricky. <laughs> Um, oh, I have an idea. Okay, I know what we're gonna do for the end of the video today. My goal is to get to the cow level. <laughs> Once you kill Diablo, you're allowed to go to the cow level. 
So, in order to do that, we have to get to Tristram, and we have to get Wurt's leg. I did look this up because I, I wanted, I remembered the cow level. Um, so the cow level was a rumor in, um, Diablo 1. And I remember there is no cow level as a cheat code in Warcraft 2, I think. Um, so it sort of became this, like, uh, myth or rumor in the game that there was a cow level. Uh, when in fact there was not. But, um... Oh god. Okay, hold on. We gotta... Kill these guys. Okay, you bastards. I'm gonna kill the guys who's resurrecting the little guys. There we go. There's a, another guy's alive. There you go. Um... Yeah, so you can go to the cow level, but Diablo has to be killed, basically. Not allowed to go until he's dead. Supposedly there's very good stuff in the cow level, which could be good for us. Although I feel like my Diab my uh, barbarian here is basically retired. I guess, unless you guys decide you want him to be the expansion character, I'll let you guys decide in the comments. The other thing is, maybe you guys are sick of Diablo and we should give it a rest for a while. In which case, that's fine, I'll move on to something else, but... Someday. Someday we'll do the expansion. I don't know, let me know in the comments if you guys want more Diablo. Or if you want to let something else. If you have any recommendations of games I should, like, long play to the very end, feel free to let me know. Um, no guarantees, but... I'm always up for a suggestion, maybe... Maybe you'll suggest something that piques my fancy. And I decide to run with it. Um, how am I, like, out of mana? Odd. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that if you restart the game in a harder difficulty, the bad guys are, like, actually a challenge again. I'm like, come on, I was just in hell. Slaughtered literally the Prince of... Darkness himself, Diablo. And now I'm having trouble with, like, a bunch of... Gremlins? A bunch of field gremlins? Give me a break. Here, buddy. I guess they, uh... I guess they sort of, uh... Make things as... Difficult as they actually were when you were level one, sort of. So the the bad guys are scaled up, so they're about as hard as they used to be. That's what we need, super mana. So I don't know, like give you a challenge or something like that. Jeez. Okay, let's put an end to this wizard guy. There we go. Wait. How did he... Uh-oh. Oh god. Die already, zombies. You're actually tougher than you look. Kind of jumped into this corner without a real plan, I'm realizing. Thank goodness. Powerful enough. Mana burn and spectral hit. So yeah, I'm really sad there is no ice level. I maybe it was the expansion that I'm remembering. Maybe in the expansion there's like another act or two and one is a I remember being like winter battlegrounds and like having to go into fortresses and stuff in the ice. Oh, there's only a couple guys left, I think. Four monsters remaining. You know what sucks about undead is you can't mana or life steal them. I did not realize that. And it sucks. Because mana and life steal is how the barbarian gets mana and life. 
He steals it, man, like a vampire. Okay, four guys left. Did I forget guys over here? Oh, I totally did. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to leave you out of the party. Okay, let's just, uh... Pop back to town quickly here. The rogues are safe for the moment. You have cleansed. Okay. Hello. So. Welcome, Outland. My. Oops. Look for Blood Raven. All right, we got a couple of quests till we can get Kane. Stick around, guys. I know we've slaughtered Diablo, and it kind of feels like we're just. uh spinning our wheels now but trust me it'll be a fun way to end the Dia the let's diablo 2 series we didn't just kill diablo we made it to cows yeah, i'm just gonna skip a lot of these guys um follow the path don't mind me monsters I mean you no harm. There's Flavi. Excuse me? There's you know there's a corpse literally right behind you. It's gonna take this heal. You didn't see anything, Flavi. Oh, quick point. Uh where was okay. Gotta find burial grounds near the cold plains. We'll avoid all these people. They're like, hey, don't you want to fight? And I'm like, not today. Have any of you seen Blood Raven? I'd like to kill her. Would be very helpful if you could point me in the right direction. Burial grounds, perfect. All right, let's have that tussle you wanted. Give me your souls. You can pay me in blood and mana. Oh, here's somebody else wants to fight. Um, stupid undead. Kill Blood Raven. Wait, did I level? I have a skill to assign. I guess I should equip some mana potions, because if I'm going to be fighting undead... Ugh. Oh! I don't even have my good stuff on. No wonder my guy is, like, not operating at peak performance. Yeah, let's go buy some, uh, heals. And then... Oh, I think I just got a skill for helping. What's her face? Uh... Do... More frenzy, I guess. I guess we're just going all in on the frenzy. So next level will give us even more speed. Walk, run, speed. All right. I mean, how we're only at level six frenzy. How crazy does it get? I wonder. Like, does it- do you get, like, reach, like, ludicrous speeds of frenzying? That could be kind of cool to see. Just some identities, I guess. I'm kind of curious what kind of gear you get from killing Andriel or whatever on this level, but... I won't do that on stream, necessarily. Maybe for my own curiosity, I'll, uh... Test it out, but... Yeah, look how fast my guy's attacking. He's frenzied, man. Alright, Blood Raven. Let's dance. Don't you dare run away from me. Okay, you know what? I think this is a prime time for crushing blow. To be honest. Uh. 
Ah, oh, she just <laughs> being so annoying. Oh man. Okay, you know what I'm realizing? The cow level thing. It's gonna take some time, guys. I tell you what. I'll do it, and I'll just cut to the end of this video. I'll, I'll cut to to the point where we're at the cow level. How about that? I'm gonna save you guys about two more hours of game. Oh god. Okay. Hold on. I'm just gonna go back here for a sec. All right. Uh, I'm gonna save you some time. I present to you the cow level. Yeah, so this is not the cow level. This is Tristram. But, uh, yeah, anyway, just return from it. Let's get the hell out of here. I don't want to fight more, guys. Um, we are good to go. We got the leg. So here's how you do it. Leg plus we need a tome of portal. And I think that's all there is to it. Um, I can't use this yet. Wait, you can't use this yet? What do you mean? Oh! I can't use this yet. I'm supposed to eat a normal difficulty. Son of a bitch. Okay, so the good thing... <laughs> I can't believe I did all that for nothing. The good thing... Is that I think we can just go to Tristram? Raid. Oh wait, I think I gotta go get. Oh no, it worked. Oh, we did it. <laughs> okay, I made life hard on myself by uh, getting Wurt's leg from Nightmare. Whatever. Welcome to Cowville. Population moo. Moo, 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 moo. Oh god. Cows are a little tough. Woo! Oh, oh. Well, anyway, this is the cow level. Let's slaughter some cows. As I wrap up uh, Diablo 2 here. Diablo 2, good game. Good game. Addicting game, grindy game, hard game. Good game. Especially compared to Diablo 1, I mean... This is really just a much more... Oh my god, flawless rubies. Diamonds. You know what's sad? We never really got to uh, put anything into... Um, we never really put anything into slots. We put one sword. Oh, the cow king is there. We did one sword um, early on where we put a skull into it and stuff. And it didn't really work out. Um, and then we accidentally put some topazes into a shield. And I was like, oh god, I wasted them. But it didn't really matter because we never used them for anything else. I'm afraid to go back into that portal, like... Okay, let's open up a town portal here. And now let's do this. Moo, moo. Oof. Buy some heal potions. The order welcomes Trade. Um, oh, these are shitty heal potions. Because we're not on Nightmare. <laughs> I should have brought a bunch over from Nightmare. Okay, well, we'll make do. We're going to use the last of our supers and stuff, I guess. I guess I'll just buy a bunch of crappy ones. And we'll uh, figure it out. All right, let's go through this door here. They won't be expecting it. Oof, that cow king stings. Basically, any lightning-based enemy always hurts. Even though I have, like, 74% resistance to lightning. Still stings. Okay, we slowly work down all of his hench moves. Alright. He's undefended. Or did we kill him? Did we kill the king? I didn't even notice if we did. Apparently when you kill the cow king, you can never come back to the cow level, but anyway. Um... 
Yeah, this is this is Cowtown. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed Let's Diablo 2 here. It was a lot of fun going back through this one. Um, definitely some things did not work the way I remembered. We, I guess that underground level must have been the Arcane Sanctuary that I was remembering. There is no Arctic level unless that is the setting of the expansion. But, uh... Still a good game. Oh, you know what I'm realizing? Are the cows... Is it people in cow suits? Can't tell. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, let me know if you want to see the expansion or if you are effing done with Diablo. Comment, no more Diablo ever. Stop playing Diablo. Play something else. If you leave that comment, maybe I'll move on to something else. 50-50. Guys, it's been fun. I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, moo!